Good morning, 5C. Today we will be going. Today is the twenty. It's the thirtieth of April. This is the last day of HBL. If you, in case you don't know, because on Monday we'll be meeting each other to round up um everything that we have done for HBL for the past three plus weeks, and then uh just to round things off. Okay, so today is the last lesson of HBL. Make sure you complete the lesson and make sure that you complete all your work since the start of HBL so far. Okay, so today we'll be going through yesterday's homework, which is uh, activity 5.2. I hope you have tried. I don't see your class kick again. I really hope you have tried okay, to use the online software to construct the circuit and to see how the brightness of the bulb change when more bulbs are connected in series and also uh, part of the topical worksheet. And the second part of the lesson, um, I'll be just going through the last four questions of your MCQ for a review test one that you did in term one. All right, so let's get things started. Um, this was your homework yesterday, uh, arranging bulb in series. So uh, what we have learned so far is that the brightness of the bulb in the circuit decreases. Okay, this is from your theory part that you learned on Tuesday. So the brightness of the bulb actually decreases when there are more batteries or when there are more bulbs in the connected in series. Okay, increases. Okay, so let us go through this again in case you are not very clear on what is this happening about. Okay, the brightness of each bulb in the circuit actually decreases when there are when the number of bulbs in series in the circuit increases. Okay, reason is very simple because um okay, let, let's just write out the uh, the relationship here so you can see it better. So what happens here is that when you have more bulbs connected in series. So in a circuit, if you have more bulbs connected in series, what will it, what will happen? Okay, let's make it smaller so we can squeeze everything inside. Okay, so what happens is that when you have more bulbs in the circuit that is connected in series, um, that means you will have less electric current. Flowing through each of them. Okay, when you have less electric current flowing through each bulb, then the brightness of the bulb will decrease. Bulb becomes less bright. Okay. Okay, so this is the link when we increase the number of bulbs connected in series in a circuit. When there are more bulbs connected in series, okay, like what you see over here in this diagram, when you have more bulbs connected in series, there will be less electric current flowing through each bulb because you realize that when you have more bulbs in the circuit, they are sharing the same electric current provided by the three batteries. So if they are sharing the same electric current, each of them will have less electric current flowing through them. So it becomes less bright. Okay, so it becomes less bright. So once again, we have more bulbs. They are sharing the electric current provided by the same battery. So each one of them will have less electric current flowing through them, becomes less bright. Okay, so your work yesterday was to um, get this part done uh, to construct A, B, and C on the software, online software, and I have constructed here for you already to show you. So you should have constructed this and you should have connected them together. So let's connect them together and see. So if I have only one bulb, it's going to be very bright because I have three batteries powering just one bulb, three batteries, the electric current from three batteries flows through that one bulb, it's very bright. Now let's see what happens when you have two bulbs connected in series and when I close the circuit it becomes less bright. You can see the lines it becomes less bright. Now I have three bulbs connected in series I connect the circuit it becomes even less bright. So the relationship here is that you can see that when there are more bulbs added to the circuit in series so there's one bulb, two bulbs in series, three bulbs in series the brightness gets lesser gets lesser. So why? Because you see that the electric current provided by the three um, batteries is only going through one bulb, so there's a lot of electric current become very bright. The same three batteries, the electric current is flowing through two bulbs, they are sharing the electric current, so it becomes less bright. And when um, there's three bulbs connected in series, what happens is that there, uh, the amount of electric current flowing through will be even lesser, that's why it becomes less bright. Okay. So this is what is happening, All right? So just make sure you can see the relationship very clearly. 
um, you realize that when there's only one bulb, all the electric current from the three batteries all flow through that one bulb, so it's very bright. When you have two bulbs, all the electric current flow through these two bulbs, so they are in a sense like sharing the electric current, so it'll be less bright. Of course, when you have three bulbs in series, the electric current is shared in a sense by three bulbs, so it will be even less bright. Okay, so this is the pattern over here. So realize that in order of brightness, the least bright will be C followed by B followed by A. So let's that let's write that down. So the least bright is C followed by B followed by A. A is the most bright, is the brightest over here. So the conclusion over here, what, what do we uh, observe about the experiment is that the brightness of the bulb increases uh, decreases as we go from okay, as we go from A to C, the brightness of the bulb decreases. Let's make it bigger. Okay, the brightness of the bulb decreases when the number of bulbs arranged in series increases. So when I have more bulbs in series in a circuit, the brightness of the bulb actually decreases. And this is the same as what we um see what we learned previously in our theory lessons. When the brightness of the when the number of bulbs arranged in series increases, the brightness decreases. So same thing for reflection. Brightness decreases when number of bulbs arranged in series increases. So more bulbs arranged in series, the brightness of each bulb will decrease. So same thing, what is the variable that was changed over here is basically the number of bulbs connected in series. I can make it smaller. Okay, so the number of bulbs connected in series was changed from 1 to 2 to 2 to 3. So the number of bulbs connected in series is changed. Why is kept the same? You realize the number of battery used is the same. I use three batteries. The number of batteries used are the same. Okay, so the number of battery used is the same. So let's now look at the third one. So we realize, um, let's look at the relationship here. When there are more bulbs arranged in series in a circuit, so as I go from A to C, as I uh, put in more bulbs that are arranged in series, you will have less electric current flowing through the bulb. Okay, you have less electric current flowing through the bulb, and therefore the bulbs will light up, will light up less brightly. Okay, so once again, this is the uh, relationship when you put more bulbs in series um, there will be less electric current flowing through each bulb so therefore the brightness of the bulb actually decreases okay so this is what you should have observed when you do activity 5.2 okay so now let's look at uh, the next page okay so the next page uh, the next piece of work that you are supposed to have done yesterday is on um, topical worksheet Electrical electric circuits unit five question one page two and page three. So this is um back to the topic of electrical system. So let's see what we need to do here. So you realize that um the circuit diagram shows this set up by three bulbs, bulb one, b one, b two and b three, three bulbs and three and three switches. No, actually two oh, and three switches. No, I think there's only two switches. So just make a change over here. There's only two switches. Not three bits two. Okay, so I have three bulbs. I have um B1, B2, B3, and two switch S1, S2. Alright, so let's see what they want us to do. They want us to put a tick if the bulb light up in the following in the boxes. So I'm gonna close some of the switches. Sometimes I close both, sometimes I open both. So see which one will light up. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Uh, let's say I close S1 and close S2. So I'm going to draw it out. I'm, I close S1, I close S2. So will B1 light up? Okay, let's just trace all the uh, flow of the car electric current. So I close S1, I close S2. That's for the first one. Uh, start from the battery. Okay, I can go through B1. It's a closed circuit. I can go through B2. 
and I can come here. So straight away, if it's a closed circuit, it's a complete loop, there's no gap in between, I know my B1 and B2 can light up. Okay, what about B3? Let's go and see, uh, using the same color, battery until here, I can go through here as well. It's a closed switch, so I can pass through the closed switch. I realize that I can still go in a complete path. There's no gap. So again, B3 can be switched on. Okay, so use your highlighter or use your finger to trace it out. And then if it's a complete loop, there's no gap, it will be a um it will be a closed circuit, means the pop will light up. Okay, now let's erase everything away. Okay, restart. Okay, now I have S1 open. So S1 is open, S2 is closed. So S1 is open, S2 is closed. Okay, so S2 is closed now. S1 open, S2 closed. So now let's trace the path. So electric current can flow through here, here. It can't go further on because S1 is open. So it can only go through here, go through S2 which is closed, and then come back to the battery again. So straight away I know that my B3 can be lighted up. B2, let's see if B2 can be lighted up. You realize that if I trace again, um, it can't go S1. Um, there's a gap here, so it can go down here. It can go down here, but you realize if it goes down here, there's no way it can go back to the uh, negative terminal. Okay, again, electric current only flows in one direction. You cannot say that teacher, it flows. Okay, let's use another color. Okay, you cannot say that can it flow like this, come to here, go to here, come up, go to here, and then go back up again. Cannot. Okay, electric current can only flow in one direction. They cannot flow in two directions on the same wire. So this part is wrong. Okay, you cannot go back and flow back again. Okay, that's only it only flows in one direction on one wire. So this is this is wrong. So I know that um B1 and B2 cannot light up, so I won't put a tick there. Okay, so let's erase everything away. Okay, let's start um for the third one. S1 is closed, so S1 is closed. And S2 is open. Okay, so S1 closed, S2 open. Let's trace the um, flow of electric current. So I can go down here, go to S1, go to B1, I can go to B2, and then it goes back to the negative end of the battery. One complete loop. So I know my B1 and B2 can work. B1 can work, B2 can work. Um, what about B3? Okay, you realize that if you trace it, for in order B3 to work, it must go to B3. So let's say it goes to B3. I use another color. Okay, for B3 to work, it needs to go to B3 for sure. But then you realize there's a gap. Okay, there's a gap here. So if there's a gap here, means it's an open circuit, means B3 cannot light up. Okay, so that is what you need to do. Okay, so let's finish up um, the last one. The last one is um, both are open. So let's erase everything away. Okay, so let's say both switches are open, like what you have here. So if both switches are open, let's see, can any uh, light bulb light up? So from the battery, it starts, it goes here, cannot, because it's an open circuit. It goes through here, but it's an open circuit as well. So there's no way for the electric current to go back to the negative terminal to form a complete loop. So in this case, all three don't light up. Okay, in this view, all three don't light up if both switches are left open because there are gaps in the circuit forming open circuits. Okay, so these are the only ones that will light up. Okay, okay, let's move on. Okay, so this is page three. So study the arrangement of the batteries and bulbs carefully. Circle the bulb. Okay, circle the bulb that will light up the brightest. Okay, so which of these one, two, three, four? Will the bulb light up the brightest? So let's see. So here I have three batteries and one bulb. Three batteries, one bulb. Um, a lot of electric current flowing through one bulb. It seems like this is the correct one. You will see. Um, over here, there is okay. So here there is three battery. Let's write it down first. Three batteries. Okay. So three batteries is here. Then on the other hand. For number two, hey, you realize that there is four batteries. Okay, there are four batteries here. Okay, so now I know that it cannot be one anymore. 
because here there's three batteries flowing through one bulb now there's four batteries flowing uh for one for option number one there are electric current from three batteries flowing through one bulb for option number two there are electric current from four batteries okay from four batteries so let's highlight the four from four batteries flowing through one bulb so i'm pretty sure that number two is going to be brighter than number one so number three there's only one light bulb so let's uh there's only one battery sorry it's only one battery and for number four there is uh one battery also but in this case there are two bulbs so when there are more bulbs in a circuit there is, uh, when there are more bulbs connected in series because you can see that these two bulbs are connected in series when there are more bulbs connected in series the brightness of the bulbs will uh, get less bright okay so what happens here is that since there's only one battery probably it won't be as bright as the one with four batteries and plus there are two bulbs connected in series means each the brightness of each bulb will be even less bright okay so the answer is two so circle number two okay so um the fact that it has this is only one battery uh, okay, the fact that this has four batteries, as you can see, there is a lot of electric current provided by the battery flowing through only one bulb, it will be the brightest, followed by option one, which has three batteries, followed by option three, which has one battery and one bulb, followed by option four, because this battery, the electric current from this battery is shared between these two bulbs, which means even less electric current is flowing through each of the bulb, it will be even less bright. So it's two, one, three, and four by an order of the brightness of the bulb. So next one, study these three circuit, arrange them in terms of the brightness in ascending order. So if you didn't know what is ascending order, it means, okay, let's write down here, this is the least bright. Ascending means going up. So um, the box on the left, the first box is least bright, and the last box is the most bright, the most brightest. Okay, this is the brightest, this bright and this is the brightest. Okay, so I want to find the brightest one on the right, I want to find the least bright one. Okay, so let's look at the number of batteries first. I got three batteries, three batteries and two batteries. Okay, um, so let's compare those that are roughly the same. I got three batteries, two batteries, I got one bulb, one bulb. So maybe I write it over here. Okay, three batteries plus one bulb okay this is for number four well for uh, this for the first circuit for number four and then you realize for this one there is two batteries plus one bulb okay two batteries plus one bulb All right so just let's compare just this two extreme end first three batteries plus one bulb two batteries plus one bulb means this one must be more will be brighter so it will be brighter because there's electric current from three batteries flowing through that one bulb okay so we know that this one will be brighter and this one will be less bright So we don't compare all three at one go, we just compare two first. So what happens, we know that three batteries, one bulb, two batteries, one bulb, means that um, when there are more batteries connected in series, there will be more electric current flowing through this one bulb, so it will be brighter. So we know this will be brighter than this. So now let's look at, now let's look at this. This one has three batteries, same as this, but these three batteries has two bulbs. So uh, connected in series. So again, I'm going to write there, Three batteries plus two bulbs in series. Anyway, for foundation or the oh, you're only tested on series, so there's no parallel circuit to talk about. Okay, so the difference here is because um you will see a difference between the brightness of the bulb in the first and the second one because there are two bulbs in series. 
Okay, remember when you add more bulbs in series, means the electric current is now shared between the two bulbs. So there'll be less electric current flowing through these two bulbs. Means that um, this one will be less bright than the first one. Okay, so means that, uh, let's write this down. Because the electric current from the same three batteries over here and over here, shared between two um, light bulbs. So what you have here, this one will be less bright also. So now you know that I'm pretty sure that uh, okay let's give it a uh, ABC it's easier for us to name them so let's say this is a uh, circuit A this is circuit B and this is circuit C okay so the brightest will be A okay because three batteries and one bulb okay um, the electric current flowing through that one bulb is due to the three batteries so now the difference now the question is which one is brighter or which one is less bright is it B or is it C okay um so you realize that for C you have two batteries and one bulb. So two batteries share uh one bulb uh two batteries give the uh two, the electric current from two batteries is providing the electric current for one bulb. Okay, so there's two batteries for each bulb in a sense. However, for this one which is three batteries providing for two bulbs, you realize each bulb Okay, you realize each bulb is only receiving one point five battery. In a sense, if we do a bit of maths, okay. So for C, you realize two batteries serves one bulb or two. Batteries provide the electricity, electric current for one bulb. So this one bulb is receiving electric current from three, from two batteries. However, for circuit B, since three battery is providing electric current for two bulbs, so each bulb, okay, let's make it super big so you can see. So so each bulb, okay, over here. Three batteries providing electric current for two bulbs, so each bulb is actually receiving only 1.5 battery worth of electric current per se. So I'm sh pretty sure that since for circuit C, the one bulb is using electric current from two batteries, it will be brighter than the one in B because this one effectively for B is only 1.5 battery, this is two batteries, and this is three batteries. That's why it is the brightest, and this is the least bright. Okay. okay, so to a bit of maths, you realize that this one bulb is uh, being lighted up by the electric current from three batteries. Okay, over here. Um, this one for C, one light bulb um, lighted up by electric current from two batteries. And then for this, two light bulbs, three batteries, each light bulb is being uh, lighted up by around 1.5 battery. So, a will be the brightest, followed by C, followed by B. Alright, so let's go to the last part, question 5. We look at the diagram, um, just want you to label everything. So it's quite straightforward. Um, this is the glass cover. You can call it the glass bulb also can. Uh, B is your filament, the part that will glow and will uh, give off heat and light energy. And then after that, C is your metal casing. And D will be your metal tip. Okay, so this is question five is quite straightforward. Um basically the parts of the electric circuit that you that you uh about the parts of the bulb that you have learned before. So A is the glass cover, B is the filament, C is the glass, uh, metal casing, D is the metal tip. This is quite straightforward. All right. So this is the homework for yesterday. Uh, I hope you have done it and make sure you do your corrections as you finish, uh, as you watch the video. The next part of the lesson is on going through answers for your review test one, um, question 12 to 15 of your review paper. That's uh, all the four MCQs. All right. See you later.